All right, so this is the TM305 machine assembly. I've already taken everything out of the box. Uh, the two legs here are labeled with an R and then on the left there's an L. On this cross member, there's an R and an L. There's a long piece on the bottom of the, the cross member. It slides down in this slot on both sides. You will use the supplied wrench, the M10 side, to tighten all four of the bolts. So this is one solid piece. The next thing in the packaging, there's these three black plastic pieces. They'll be individually packaged. Take the plastic off. There is one little nipple in here. And on the cross member, there's three holes. So there's one there, here, and there. Take, we're gonna hook the top first. And then that nipple goes in the hole, push it down to lock it in place. The next thing is the basket. I've taken the bottom tape off the basket, the plastic covering off of the basket material. The right hand side is gonna have the gray lever on it. You want to take and put the basket in so that the black on the left sits on the rail and the gray handle is on the rail as well. And then it just sits down in the cradle on the right and on the left hand side. And again, everything is labeled with an R for right and an L for left. That is going to be secured down with two screws. It's gonna go here and on the opposing side. So you will use the supplied wrench and just tighten them down. You don't have to over tighten them. Just secure them in place. Next order of business here, you're gonna take the basket material and unwrap it. It is going to go over this. So it's gonna cover that. And then on the back side here, you have five of these loops. One goes on the far right. One hooks on the far left. And then you just do middle left and right and they just loop over these little plastic hooks. And the last couple of pieces for the stand. You have this piece here. You can see the two grays are closer on the right hand side or the left from your angle. They go down in this plastic piece here. They simply snap in and then they open and close as needed. And the last piece of the basket is this bar. This bar is going to go behind the material and on your right hand side in this little channel, you will see an opening and that is where the end of the rod goes through. And the same thing with on the left hand side, it goes through and sits in place. And then when needed at a later state, you can put it up like that or put it down. Now it's time to put the machine on the stand. The machine has two nipples, one on the left, one on the right, and then there's four holes. That's going to be for the four screws that go from underneath into the machine. So go ahead guys, pick it up, and they're going to set it on the stand. Towards me, Andy. Yep. And a good way to tell that it's lined up, besides it falling into place, on the machine you have this upper piece and on the stand it lines up directly with that and it'll fall into place. And then you just take those four screws with your supplied wrench and
There you go, you do that four times, one on each corner, and the machine is ready for its next step. If you purchase the TM305 MFP, the next step, once you get the machine assembled, is taking off the covers on the left and the right-hand side. It is one screw on each side that is taken off with the supplied wrench. Make sure you keep the cover and the screw because once we put the side adapters on that hold the scanner, we're gonna put those covers back on. The supports or the adapters for the scanner, uh, they will curve inward and the slotted hole is going to be towards the front of the machine. So this is what the left hand side looks like. It's secured on with three screws and the right hand side, three more screws. Once you have those secured in place, you're gonna take the adapter cover again and it goes back in and using your wrench, you will tighten that one screw down and that process is the exact same on the left-hand side. You will put that on as well. And I the next order of business with the MFP installation or assembly is to put together the all-in-one arm. So you will start by taking this piece Make sure this guy is vertical. And what you're going to do here, there's a hook on top, and you're going to reach around to the back side of the machine, and it sits in place like that. Then you will push that in and start to tighten it while you're pushing it in. And what that's going to do is turn in there and lock itself in the channel. Now it's good and secure. You will take your arm and it has two posts on it and they go into those slotted holes. Very hard to do one-handed, but they go in those slotted holes and sit down, and then it is four screws from the back side that secure it in place. I skipped filming putting the scanner on the actual stand. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's two bigger bolts that go underneath, and then two screws that secure from the back. Got the machine plugged in now. We're gonna go ahead and power it on. It's gonna ask you a few things. Time zone language and then it's going to instruct you to put the starter ink tanks in. All right, so I chose my language and my time zone. I put the inks in when instructed. Now the machine is asking me to put the print head in. So I have taken the covers off of the print head. You lift towards you, push up away from you, and you take your print head And you set it down in there, close the back side first, close the top side, and then close the top cover. The carriage will move back over and it's going to start filling with ink. Next step in this process of initializing the machine, it's gonna ask you which type of paper do you want to print the print head alignment pattern on. So I'm going to do roll paper. I already have my paper loaded. So I'm going to feed it into the machine and follow the prompts. This is just regular plain paper I'm using. And then it will finish filling with ink and it will start to print its print head pattern. 